Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a crafting and upgrading guide for The Last of Us. And so, yeah, crafting and upgrading is quite a good part of this game, you know. I mean, I've especially found out that crafting is, you know, crafting items from your backpack, mainly. You can also upgrade your weapons and upgrade your character. So I'm going to go over all this in this video. I'll put some more information in the description and... Uh, like quick links in the video. Um, so crafting. So crafting from your backpack, which is what I'm going to go over first. So I'm also going to go over the various different recipes to craft. So like for example, melotive cocktails and um, melee upgrades and shivs, for example. But there's a couple more. Um, so you will need the recipe first of all to craft the item, and you can get the recipe from picking up the object. I think. And um, you will all immediately like start the game with uh, medical kits and shiv recipes, I think. Um, but that is definitely one of the ones you get from the story and you can't miss. So once you have the recipe, you will need the items to craft it with. So for example, a melotive cocktail, you will need a rag and um, alcohol. So you can find these items like throughout the world, you know, on desks, inside desks, in cupboards, in lockers, you know, various different places. There's also these things called shiv doors, which are actually a collector, I think, as well. Um, but yeah, you can get quite a lot of loot in these shiv doors, um, which you will need a shiv for, as they are called shivs. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good you know trade for shiv for like various different items you can find inside the you know the room. So now I'm just going to go over the various items which can craft, starting off with a shiv. This is one of the basic items which you get. Uh, to begin with, I think. Um, you get it pretty near the beginning, but anyway, what you need for it is a blade and a binding. For health kits, you will need a rag and alcohol. Um, it, I never actually craft many health kits, to be honest, but yeah, that's the recipe for health kits. And this, again, is one you get uh, near the beginning, I think, automatically. Next is Melotive Cocktails, and you can first get the recipe from this dead guy in the subway in Chapter 3, but if you don't get it from this guy, you can actually get it from any guy which you've killed which has Melotive Cocktails, so just pick up the Melotive Cocktail, and I think you get the recipe that way. So, to craft it, you need a rag and alcohol, and these aren't too hard to find. Um, next is a melee upgrade, and uh, you can get the recipe from picking up this melee upgraded weapon, and... Um, yeah, it's in Chapter 4, Billstown, so I'm not actually sure where you can get it if you don't pick it up. Um, <laughs> but you should have already picked it up. And um, so to craft an, up an upgrade, you will need a melee weapon like a baseball bat, a blade, and a binding, obviously to hold it together. And so crafting a bomb, you get the recipe from a cutscene uh, from Bill, and you need a blade and explosives to craft the actual thing. Uh, so yeah, you get the recipe from a cutscene, so you can't miss it. So the final item you can craft is Smoke Bomb, and you get the recipe by picking up the Smoke Bomb from a shelf in Chapter 5, I think. It's in this room after you've been ambushed, um, and you escape the firefight and whatever. So it's in this room where they've like butchered the woman, I guess. Uh, but to craft it, you will need sugar and explosive, and I haven't come across much sugar, but anyway, once you've crafted that, you should get a trophy um, for crafting all the items. And so that leads us on to upgrading weapons. So to upgrade weapons, you will need a crafting table, and in most occasions, you will need tools. And so crafting tables are found in various different places across the game, mostly in peaceful areas. Uh, but yeah, you will need that to bring up this menu where you can upgrade your weapons and create some holsters. So as you can see here, that I don't actually need any tools for level 1 uh, upgrading certain weapons. However, for better upgrades, you will need a higher tool level. Now, when you get a tool, it actually raises your whole level to, like, here, for example, level 1. You don't actually use tools, which is what I originally thought, you know, you pick up a tool and you use it, you don't. Once you pick up a tool, you will be, you know, a higher level forever. And then you pick up another tool, and you'll be level 2, and then another, and you're level 3, for example. As it says, level 1 out of 5, so there's 5 levels you can have tools, and they are located in various places around the 
the game, so I'll post a link to a video which has all those tools, like tool locations. As well as tools, you will also need parts. Now, these are found across the entire game, you know, on tables, in desks, and um, mostly in shiv doors as well, I've found out. Um, but yeah, you will need parts. The more parts you have, the more stuff you can upgrade. And so this takes us to upgrading your character. So, to upgrade Joel, or Ellie I think you can later on in the game, you will need supplements. Now supplements come in the form of plants or pills. Mostly pills I have found. But you can actually get supplements in plants. And um, once you have enough supplements, you can upgrade your character from the menu, like the crafting menu. So you need to press select to get to that menu, like your backpack. And you just press R1 and you get to this page and you can just upgrade whatever you want, you know, listening, distance, you know, speed of crafting, your health, various different things. Uh, you can just craft it from there and you're done. Um, but yeah, I mean, it does require quite a lot of supplements, I've found out. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And um, that's about everything, to be honest, in crafting and upgrading. <laughs> so I hope this helped. I hope this has cleared up a few things. And, um, yeah, give me a comment if you need anything. So, thanks for watching.